Hello everyone, this is Cliff. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. Now when we last left off, we had completed the second half of the Iron Keep and we were about to face a boss. And this boss looks very familiar uh, to those who have played uh, Blizzard products. <laughs> uh, I, the first thing I thought when I when I saw him was Diablo. But uh, no, it's, it's not Diablo. Okay, so this is the old Iron King. What we're gonna do right away is fuck up and drink an Estus. We're gonna flash sweat. Oh, he hit me with that? Wow. Okay, so obviously things have not gone well right off the bat. And they continue to go great. Now, you may find it a tad bit easier to hit this guy if uh, you don't if you don't fall into a hole. Damn it! Okay. Take two. Alright, so that did not go well at all. And I always jump down this little last part here. I'm always afraid that I'm going to do something stupid and end up spiking myself. So we dusted that guy off this time. I'll have to check, but I think maybe those kind of tortoiseshell enemies can actually drop some halfway decent items. I need to look that up. Alright, let's go back into it. I'm going to re-equip that shield that helps me. Ooh. Really? Asshole. Asshole. Hate this freaking dude. Let me get my souls at least. Jackass. So yeah, obviously one of the problems with this arena is uh, it's very easy to fall down. Oh, God. Really? drink up because I'm playing like crap. There we go. Two, three, four. So, um, I lock on just to make sure I can figure out where he's shooting all of this crap. And there's generally a little break when he does that. But for here, I'm going to unlock... So it's it's good to kind of use a mixture of ah that was way too late a mixture of locking and unlocking ooh oh big fella so I'm gonna unlock here and attack and this playthrough is going a lot better than the last one of course I kind of derail myself by uh, committing suicide don't knock me in that hole there's a hole right next to where he where he had me. I don't want to want to do that again. Okay, so he's about halfway. And again, uh, not 
the most difficult boss of all time. Just be very careful. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's okay to take a little bit of a hit, but there, that's what I want. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so he's beefed up that uh, fist attack uh, with a little bit of a little bit of flame. And we'll just take him out real quick. All right. So we get the old Iron King soul. And we get a great soul. Now, really, the worst part of this fight is for this little hole right here. I don't know why I actually backed off and fell into there. That's usually not a problem. But he can hit you off into that hole. It can be kind of aggravating. Um... So basically, wait out his fire attacks. If the further you are away, generally you'll see a, a gap in, in the breathing fire attack. The uh, flame attack, kind of the laser-like attack that he uses with his hand, is a lot more difficult. Uh, but if you can roll in behind him, like I was trying, like I did a couple of times, you can get a fair number of hits pretty easily. Um, so let's grab this treasure chest right here. And that's awesome. We'll burn that back in Medulla. And we'll take the walk down here. To the Primal Bonfire. Alright, so. We are halfway through lighting the Primal Bonfires. we got two more. One that uh, kind of starts out in the gutter area. And... That one's kind of real short area, um, and the second one is a little bit longer, and ends in a fight with a two-headed spider, which I wasn't really pleased about when I pl first played this game. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump back to the far fire. And we will burn, not that, burn our sublime bone dust. Like so. And, yeah, we, we know. I'm going to tune another offensive spell in there because that's kind of the last time I'll really need to, need to buff myself against fire. Okay, so. Two of the four have been lit. At this point, you've been well. You know uh, how well. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Since sorry. Each, like, maybe that. At this point, her item list changes. Uh, you can buy an infinite number of Titanite shards and ten large Titanite shards. Now that's not a huge deal because the other blacksmith, uh, McDuff, actually sells an unlimited number of large Titanite shards. So it's not much of a big whoop. But I guess if you haven't... No interest. I guess if you haven't followed his storyline and uh, been getting his items and opening up his shop, then that 10 would probably be a very big deal at this point. I don't think anything else changes. I think she's... I... Nah, it looks like the uh, SOS... Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't waste your time. I think we've gotten everything that we can. I think that's the only thing that changes. Uh, a little bit later on, her stock will change again. She'll actually uh, sell unlimited number of large Titanite shards and then a limited number of the, uh, I want to say, chunks are the next level. So, so far so good. Uh, what I'm going to do is... How long have we been going? We've been going about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small cut in the video right here. And then I'm going to show you some of uh, the extra area that I didn't show you uh, when we were going through the Iron Keep. And then after that, we'll, we'll pretty much be hands off of that place and on to... Uh, we'll go after the spider boss next so we'll, we'll basically be heading off towards that tower 
Uh, so let me put a cut here and get back into the Iron Keep where we uh, where we missed that area. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, so we are back in the Iron Keep and we're up above uh, this area right here. Um, I will say this: I did collect the fire seed that was there. Um, uh, got killed once, but I did collect it. I also killed the um, crystal lizard that was uh, at the bottom of those stairs. So. We actually have a few little items in here. Um, I got a fire drake stone. I think I get, one of the fire drake stone I think I got from the crystal lizard. Another one I got from those uh, kind of turtle-like enemies that we, we had been fighting. So we're going to climb up this ladder. This is the part that we didn't do before. And this is pointless. I, and somebody just used the feral's lockstone. Um, uh, there's absolutely no use for that. We're going to climb up here and ready our bow because this part right here is a little bit easier. Oh, and I just impacted. I wasted that error. Oh, God. Why am I pissing away all these arrows? I don't know if I can hit him with this spell. Just impacts on that wall. There are actually three of these guys, so just be careful if you want to go try to jump out and go hand to hand. There are three of them. Stupid to use that, so let's uh Okay, three on one I won't try, but two on one, I'll gladly take my chances with. Ow. Oh, oh. That was a bad move. There we go. Alright, so we're going to pop this open. Black Knight Great Axe. Now, Black Knight weapons. Let me show you real quick. Black Knight weapons uh, have a physical component as well as a fire component. Uh, they're actually pretty cool weapons. I will be using a uh, not the Great Axe, but the Halbred and the Great Sword. Uh, I use those quite extensively on my other playthrough. Uh, okay, so obviously at this point what we're going to do is we're going to drop out and do the silver cat ring because we're going to have to do some very precise drops. Ooh. And we'll grab this item. This is the item that we could see before I pointed it out uh, when we went through this level. Okay. Now this part is, um, well, frankly, it's not easy. What I'm going to try to do is drop here, and very slowly walk around, and grab that. Now that's an awesome item, except for the fact that we've already got the plus one version, and you can actually get that plus one version before you can get uh, the regular version. Than me, right in the crotch. Okay, so we'll drop down here and we'll walk all the way across. And there we go, we're good to go. And that was the area that we missed before. Uh, 
So like I said, we got two primal bonfires done and we got two more. We're going to head towards uh, not my favorite part of the game to be honest with you. We're going to head towards Brightstone Cave, Seldora and that area and if I don't watch out I'm going to get killed by this guy. Uh, so until next time, this has been Cliff and I will see you later.